Welcome back, friends, and gather round for episode 21 of Simply Walking Into Mordor. As always, my name is Now Clear, and I, I hope you're having a great day. I do. A special welcome to you if this is your first time watching with us. We are here uh, outside the ruin of Nerost. We have ridden, if I give up, put out our map. We've ridden east from the Forsaken Inn uh, into this valley here, and we've found these ruins of Nerost, and we're going to deal with these half orcs who are here. And yes, guys, welcome back. This is our this is the end of the third week of this uh, series, and we have gotten so far already. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, uh, and I hope you will keep enjoying it as long as it keeps coming out. All right, here we are, and we're ready. Let's put some floating names back on. We're ready to fight some half orcs. Let's get some action in right away at the start of the episode. Finish off these half orc brutes. These guys don't know their place. They're inhabiting a ruin that is not theirs. So we've defeated two half orcs. We're also collecting relics here, uh, collecting old treasures, and we'll just make sure we haven't missed any. No, the next one's over here. Uh, because we're collecting them for Hanolf Muntz, who is back at the Glane camp. These half orcs, they're a bit annoying in how they fight. They, uh, they just chuck a couple of axes at you before they engage uh, at melee range, so you just gotta wait now a bit. Now guys, as you will know, we hit level 25 last uh, episode, and we got ourselves a new skill. And it's not a normal champion skill. just want to make sure I'm not going to run into some half-orcs while I'm explaining this. It's not a champion skill. In fact, it is our second racial trait. At level 25, uh, high elves uh, unlock their second race trait. And this race trait is a bit controversial. Some people think it's completely undeserved. Some people think... It's really good. I think it's really good. It's kind of fun. Uh, basically what it does, it gives us a revive. So every high elf has the ability to revive someone once every half an hour. Now, the, a revive is usually a skill that's restricted to a healing class. Captains, lawmasters, minstrels, and law, uh, and runekeepers. They all have revive skills. But high elves, I think Bjorning, the Bjornings have revive skills. I can't remember. I'm not very well versed in the Bjorning, having, having not played one very far myself. But High Elves, everyone who is a High Elf, gains a Revive skill. So we are going to keep that nice and safe up there on our bar, uh, so that we can revive someone if they do need it. We won't be using it that often, but it is kind of handy to have. Uh, so let's get right back into it here with these half-orcs. Just something at level 25 that we unlocked. I don't think we unlocked much else. Uh, we did unlock another skirmish. And so I think in the next episode, uh, I will be showcasing... Can't speak. Well, who's this guy? Snuggabash. Let's get him. Ah, uh, yes, I will be showcasing uh, the next skirmish that we unlocked. It is... Uh, Defense of Amon Sul, I think it's called Standard Amon Sul, is what it's called. Uh, it's, it unlocks at level 25, and yeah, basically you're helping the ranger Kande defend the top of Weathertop. So that will definitely be exciting. Again, it's a defensive one, but it does have some interesting mechanics. Uh, it is very different to the Siege of Gondamon that we did a couple of episodes ago. So I hope you guys are keen to see that. I think that'll be coming next episode. Uh, once we hopefully get to Ostkuruf today. All right, let's keep collecting these ancient relics. We've killed enough half-orcs already, but we are going to kill plenty more. Do not worry about that. There are plenty more half-orcs to defeat. Here we are, some more ancient artifacts. Uh, don't want to really trigger those if we can get away with it. All the ancient artifacts are actually outside uh, the ruins. And then, so this is the outside area. And then inside the ruins in there is where the crates and also Hondemur's is. Alright. Let's just clean up these watchmen. Let's use brace of attack. Give us some health back. And let's finish off this half orc and make his day go from bad to worse, really. I hope that's not the case for you guys now. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, wherever you may be, whatever time of day it might be that you're watching this. And yeah, I hope you're, hope you're enjoying your time. 
if you're sitting down, relaxing, uh, just, you know, having a bit of time off watching this video, maybe you're watching it work, and you should probably not be doing that and working. <laughs> nah, all, all jokes, all jokes. Watch my videos, it's great. No, I'm good. All right, let's get in here. We're going to fight these half orcs. I think we're still missing one um, relic, but there are a couple of them, so we can find one of these. There are, we're starting to find crates though, and so we're gonna collect these crates in here. And hopefully, before too long at all, we will be ready to hand these quests in. I think we will hit level 25, 20, 26, 26. That number that comes after 25, you know, that well-known number, uh, 26. We will hit that after we finish some quests today. I think we'll get there today. He is hoping, at least. Let's get these orcs down, because there's a chest up here and I want it. He's battle frenzy. Oh, that's a switch bar skill. You can lock your task bar, your skill bar. Uh, I tend not to, because I like to move things around quite a bit. But yeah. Just accidentally move that one there. Put our chest to collect. What do we get? 11 cracked dwarf carvings. That's a scholar item. Uh, so that my scholar will be very good to learn that discovery. And also 10 silver pieces and 95 copper. Very helpful indeed. All right. Where are we? We're, we're going up the steps. We're going to keep looking for the crates. We've only got two out of eight. That feels like not very many, but I'm sure there are more up here. Finishing off these half orc boots with ease with our sa crafted sword of savagery, is that what it's called? Yes. The crafted sword of savagery. Still stoked about unboxing that item. Best item we could have hoped for from that uh, loot box. And I'll be keeping a close eye on our inventory to see if we get any more loot boxes. We might not open another one unless we get a level 30 uh, loot box because we're getting a bit high now. Or the gear so we might just wait until we find a little 30 to use our keys. Alright, we get a stole another stolen crate. I think we've found a quest item. Yes, a tarnished necklace. At first glance, this looks like a piece of worthless jewelry. But upon a further inspection, you discover an inscription engraved on the back of the pendant. I will ever and always love. No. From D. Alright. Beneath is the carved symbol of the Aglaine. Perhaps someone of the Aglaine can assist you with finding the owner of the necklace. So we found another not another lost necklace. It seems to be a pretty common occurrence here in the Lone Lands. That's right, we'll be sure to return that to its right owner. Found some more half orcs here. These guys are guarding a crate. That was the worst issue in their lives. We're going bring them down with our great sword. Raging Blade. Right. In my opinion, there is no skill that's more satisfying to use in this entire game than Raging Blades. Just because of the sound it makes, the amount of enemies it hits, 12 targets, and we're going to increase that to 13 with our next trade point. Just so much carnage. I love it. Alright, looks like there's a crate outside that's going I think we will have enough though up here. We are traveling up into the center of the uh, because that is where Hontemurs and his guards are. We are looking for him, of course, defeat Hontemurs and defeat his guards. These guys are merely obstacles in our path and not even doing a great job of that. They have brought our health down, probably because I haven't been paying, paying much attention to it. Let's use Bracing Attack in our next opportunity. There we go. Free further. Bracing Attack bringing us back up to a good amount of health. And Raging Blade, this guy down. Still a decent amount of health, but he's not on, mate. Alright, Stolen Crate. Our sixth of eight. And I think the last two will definitely be up. So not to worry, not to worry at all. Alright, let's challenge this guy just for good measure. Blasty. Important to grind those skills that you don't really use that often. Let's bring down this brute. Champions, though, they use all of their skills quite often. This is just an odd few. And here's two crates, just, just where we need them. 
It's just an odd few uh, skills that we don't use that often. Let's have a look at our class traits just quickly. Yeah, Champion's Challenge, we're well behind. The Blade War we've capped out for today. Battle Frenzy, we're using all the time. Wild Attack, progressing well with that. Savage Strikes, a bit less. Uh, our single target ones are going to be uh, suffering a bit. Rend, we're using all the time. Blade Wall, all the time. Uh, oh, we've almost finished this one. Yeah, Rend, Brutal Strike, Spraising Attack, good stuff. Swift Strike or Swift Blade, we use that all the time. We've used it over 500 times. And Critical Hits with Wild Attack, we've almost finished. We've kept that out for the day. That's a, that might be something to explain quickly. Blast Deeds, um, they're a bit annoying. I'm, I'm not sure if I've explained this before, actually. Oh well, I repeat myself sometimes, that's alright. Um, basically, they do cap out uh, at a certain percentage of the deed per day. So, I believe this one I can do uh, 10 critical hits with Wild Attack in a day, and then you have to wait till it ticks over to the next day to be able to progress this deed further. You can bypass that with a Deed Accelerator. But that's for later. Right now, we found Hontemurs and his guards. This is a decently difficult fight for other classes, but we are a champion. We are ready to deal with these fighters. Bring them down super easily. All of them fall into our blade, our crafted sword of savagery, and we can come in using our AoE skills. We might as well use our savage strike if you notice that we weren't using that skill as often. All right, so we're ready to return to Hunolf Months, and the best way to do that would be to map back to the Forsaken Inn and then ride to him because it is a bit further. We're going to have a couple of long rides this episode. A decent opportunity for us to, you know, have a bit of a chat, you know. Spend a bit of time getting to know each other. Um, yeah, we're going to ride to Knopf Monks. And on our way, uh, let's get to know these stats a bit better. Uh, so, we've we've been discussing avoidances recently where we talked about blocking. Uh, block, I don't think I actually explained where it is. Basically, these avoidances... They will give you a percentage to fully or partially avoid an attack. And so this rating will influence uh, the percentage chance for that to happen. And yeah, you want to keep that as high as possible, obviously, because the less times you get hit, the less times, the less damage you take. And Wardens in particular, Wardens uh, are a tanking class. They are based around these avoidances because their mitigation, which is the other re damage reduction uh, stat, they cannot get as high as other tanks like Guardians or even Champions. So they rely heavily on the avoidances and they just decide not to get hit at all instead of taking less damage when they do get hit. So that's what avoidances do. You can fully block or partially block an attack and partially blocking uh, will block a certain amount of damage dependent also on your block rating. So the higher block rating you have, the more damage is reduced when you partially block the attack. It's obviously a higher chance for you to partially avoid something than to fully avoid it, uh, but they, they're additive, not uh, instead of each other. But, sorry, yeah, so let me go again. Your chance to fully avoid, fully av avoid something, whether that's block repairing or evading, uh, will be below, if you're kind of in a tier system, I'm explaining this so badly. Basically, and now that we're off our horse, we can see. Our chance to parry an attack is 8.9%. All right. So we have 8.9% chance to parry an attack. Now on top of this, we also have an 8.7% chance to partially parry an attack. So when we parry, if we don't parry, we then have another, a further 8.7% to partially parry. So that's 16, 17.6% uh, chance to do any of these avoidances at all, which is quite good. And when we do partially parry, the damage is reduced by 25.2%. And of course, that will increase with our parry as well. Our evade is a bit lower, but it works the exactly the same way, exactly the same way, and blocking also works the same way if we had a shield on. But we don't, so we can't block. The other thing to note about avoidance is a lot of is that a lot of classes do Why have... Why are you bothering me? Have a look at these uh, rewards. Ah, uh, yeah, you've convinced me. Those battle boots, they will be better than our healthy boots. Let's just quickly sort our inventory out while we've got the chance and get our what is this world coming done. To? You see, you get me all excited when you show me a heavy armor breastplate, but then you ruin it by putting fate on it. Oh well. This is obviously from back in the day when all of the stats were important to all of the classes. So it was kind of worth getting fate 
even as a heavy, heavy armored Tell class. Tell me what you need or move along. Sword of the Forsaken Lands. Good job in making a bad sword for us. Oh dear. These quest rewards, seriously, are not doing us any favors. Okay, we're going to get this quest Stay earned trust. Out. It's going to send us to Ostgoroth, which is exactly where we want to go. And so, this is going to be another decently long ride. So yes, as I was saying about avoidances, guys, uh, avoidances, they are a great way to, yeah, reduce the amount of damage that you take, and they're important for every class, and a lot of classes actually uh, get access to certain skills when they do avoid in some way or another. I'm just making my way up to the road here for a bit of a safer travel, don't want to be constantly hindered by orcs. I think I am going to cancel this quest. Unfortunately, I don't really want to run all the way back to that Glane camp to hand it in when we're done, so just Mugwort's going to have to go without defeating many wargs. Sorry, Mugwort. Anyway, as I was saying, so classes uh, like the Guardian uh, in particular, they have skills that become available to them when they parry an attack or when they block an attack. And I think, uh, I can't remember exactly yeah other other classes have different reactions uh different reaction skills when they do parry or block so that is another reason why you should definitely focus on increasing your block and parry chance now as we come down this valley here we're approaching the ruins of Ostgruth, which is the actually that's not Ostgruth at all Ostgruth is all the way over there still <laughs> that's neros where we just came from my bad uh got a bit excited there thought we were already there no, it's... I'm flying. No, Oscaroth is over here. It is the main uh, kind of town of uh, the Lone Lands. Oh my, look at that horse. That is a very fancy steed, sir. Nice, nice, nice. All right, back to it. Oscaroth, as I was saying, it's the main place in the Lone Lands, the main town. As you can see, lots of services here. Uh, there's even a skirmish camp. So while we're at the skirmish camp, uh, for next episode, we can do uh, a stand that I'm on saw the new skirmish that we unlocked by hitting 25. Now, of course, you don't have to be at a skirmish camp to run a skirmish. It's just helpful to be able to update your soldier uh, and make sure they are ready for the battle. And the place to do that is at a skirmish trainer and captain, which I found at the camps. Also, we might have a check if there's any good gear for us to grab uh, from there. I think level 23 there was some more gear, maybe 27 was the next tier. But that is for a later date. We have arrived at Ostgaruth. And we're here, we're going through the side entrance. This is not really the best way to come in. And on our way out, I think actually I will go and grab a stable master. Probably should have come in the other way. There is a stable master out the front here. You can see there are some guards guarding the entrance to Ostgaruth. They will actually attack the enemies that come up the stairs. And I think they're level 115, or they might be a bit lower than that. Well met. There we go. We've discovered this location. We can swift travel to Rivendell from here and to South Bree. So that is very handy if we do need any services and our milestone is on cooldown, which won't be very often. Uh, but if you're someone who hasn't got those milestone upgrades, uh, then you can use that swift travel to get back to Breeland or to Rivendell quickly. All right. So we're here. Frederick the Elder, let's just check what, what level these guards are, I'm curious. They're purples, they're way above us. Yeah, 115, so these guys will crush anything that comes in to try and attack us if we run into the safety of Oscar. Okay, Frederick, hello. Earned How trust. can I be of service? Hell to you, Naglia, I'm Frederick, Elder of the Aglane. I know of your deeds, we are already in your debt. Okay, well, that's good. We are going to help these guys out. He has a bunch of quests for us. Might One is called Hana's Dream. Time. We can go and do that. It's a very easy quest because she's just over there. This guy also gives us uh, the on-ramp to do book something three of the epic. So we've we've kind of skipped all the way over book two. And this is where book three begins. We're not going to start that. In fact, we're just going to leave it uh, for now. His other quests are also vector quests, this guy. He's sending us Would a request to go to the Forsaken Inn in case you ended up here uh, too early. And also one to send us to Agamar, which we won't do something for me. 
under the next area after this in the lowlands. But we're not worried about that. We're going to be handing this necklace back to this young Good chap. Evening. Because this is the necklace that, uh, yes, the necklace that was lost we found at Nerost. And she was struck down at Nerost, and so that's why her necklace was broken. There we go, we've got some health potions, and completed that quest, almost to level 26. And we have some more quests to pick up here. This is you, our next little quest bubble, to kill some spiders. Speak with you there are lots of spiders that are plaguing uh, Would you do the something for me? ruins just to Would the you do west something for me? of Ostbura, and so we're going to deal with them swiftly and surely. And I think we'll be able to finish that those four quests in the time of this episode. I don't so, Hana's Dream, we I'm can sure. finish this, and almost, we're so close, uh, to level 26. We're going to pick up this quest for a bit later, I grab this quest also uh, for a bit later. This will be a vector to Evendim, uh, so when we uh, are ready to go to Evendim, in two or three levels time, three or four levels time, I can say, almost, pretty much two or three. Uh, we will go back to the Forsaken Inn with our map home skill and, yeah, be ready to go to Eminem in that quest. I think just before I leave, to go and get the spiders, I am going to bind the milestone here. And I'm going to bind our Breeland one to Oscar because we do have that swift travel back to Bree if we need it. Not that I think we will. I think our inventory will remain empty enough for us to keep questing here until we leave for Everdim, at which point we'll probably do some, um, yeah, we'll, we'll rest up, get ready for our quest to Everdim, and head off after recuperating. But we are going into these ruins over here. You can see the spider webs are already piling up. So this will be a good chance for us to use our area of effect skills again, getting uh, the attention of that spider with our bow. And raging blades, picking it up getting our uh, skills and class speed going up. Let's use Savage Strikes to make sure we're using that skill often enough. Okay, this uh, spider camp is a bit uh, annoying if you don't know what you're doing. As you can see, we have this quest called Defeat These Three Elder Spiders, and they can be found in a couple of different places. I'm going to show you where they are usually found. So there's one that, that can be found in here, uh, they think he's in stealth. So, this quest can be super annoying if you don't know where these spiders are and you're not a hunter. So of course, hunters can track them, as I said uh, previously a couple of episodes ago. Hunters can track enemies, uh, but we can't. And so if you don't know where these spiders are, it can be a real pain for you. But we found him straight away. This is the ruined word trapper. He was in the first place we looked. And so this place, just in this little enclave here in the ruins, is one place to find this ruin of Web Trapper, one of the three elders. And as you can see, he is a signature level, signature level spider first to kill him. Right, bring him down. He's blocking and powering everything. He must have good avoidance stats. Unnecessary uh, raging blades there. Looks like we're getting some decent gear drops from these guys. Obviously not compared to our massive weapon that we got, but uh, enough to keep us bringing in the money. So we're going to get these egg sacks as we keep going around. The poison sacks are gained from killing spiders themselves. Under this bridge is also another place where the trapper can be found, uh, the one that we just killed. So he can be actually wandering around the bridge. So if, you're, if he wasn't there for you, you can head under this bridge and have a look down here. Uh, otherwise, there's one more spot that he can be, and I'll show you where that is right now. Just up here on top of the bridge, uh, he can be on the other side of the bridge, just over there. We're about to get over there, just some egg sacks to collect before we do. At least by the love of shuffling some webs at us. Okay, here we go. Bring in another Raiden Blade. Oh, we critted twice on that one spider. We felt the pain of that Raiden Blade. We use Savage Strikes just to keep that deed increasing. Alright, get out. A couple more egg sacks over here. And then we will head off. I'll show you where the trapper can be uh, in his third location. 
the other spiders are quite cooperative. They just wander around a bit, um, but they're always in the same kind of route, kind of patrol. The last place the trapper can be is just over here, on the other side, in this little area right here, is where he would be. And like I would, be, if he was there, he would be right over stealth without raging blade. He's that close. All right. Now the next one I think is I think is the spinner, and the spinner is over this way. If we can find him. Just tab select, tab select, tab select. Oh well, we might have to stop and fight these spiders and get the egg sacs before we head too far away. Uh, he's either here or he walks around there as well. So we'll, we'll head over and grab him next. I always, when I cross around here, I do often forget about the spinner or the weaver. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, but yeah, I do forget about him and so often have to come back around and, you know, that's pretty lame. Don't want to forget about enemies and then I have to come all the way back around. Uh, it's just a nuisance. These coons are just like chests. We're getting nice rewards from them. And he could run up there, and I think if we hover over these dots, we can see. Yep, there are some normal spiders there. Down here should be one of the elders, if I'm not mistaken, which I very well could be not infallible in my knowledge. That should be made very apparent. Just got a bunch of the normal spiders here. Keep on using tab to select around and see if there are enemy enemies just wandering. See, and there we go. We've hit our level 26. Oh, we've got a great skill for us as well. We've got sprint, and sprint is going to really help us in circumstances like this where we're just running around between things on foot. We don't want to mount up. As you can see here, we use sprint and we just run a bit faster. Very handy indeed, especially if we're running away from someone. It lasts for 15 seconds, so kind of useful there. Okay, I'm sure this spider is somewhere down here. I always get tricked by him, and then he tricks me again by thinking, by letting me think that I want that I'm onto him. Ah, dear me, he's up there. That's the weaver up there. So that's the weaver, but I'm pretty sure the spinner is meant to be down here. I'm a bit disappointed, actually. We're coming up on time for the episode. I do want to finish these quests before the end of the episode, and we can head back to the Oscar room, ready for our skirmish in the next episode. So yeah, we'll, we'll head up with here. And where is this spinner? We've got the Weaver marked. We know where he is. We're going to run through here. Sprint is also a really good way to collect up a bunch of enemies once if you want to fight a bunch of ones. So here's the Weaver. Let's fight him with all the other ones here. Use Rend, get that bleed on people, and use Blade Blade, get a bunch of damage down, and start using our Blade Wall, Rend again. Chuck in a Blade Storm. Hopefully that'll finish off a couple of them. There we go, two more down. And the last one, just the Weaver remaining now. Nice. Okay, we've got the Weaver down. This spinner is still eluding us. I'm sure he's not up here, like, I'm, I've been tricked by this before, and I've looked up here, I've spent heaps of time, and he hasn't been around. There is the Ruin Web Mother up here. Aha! Oh, he is up here! There you go! So his patrol extends all the way up to here, there you go. I'm glad we found him, because that could have taken us a while, I might have been out, yeah. but if we found him in the middle of time. We can kill him rather quickly now, this being our last objective for these ruins. And we can head back and hand in all these quests. Very good indeed. There we go. Okay, we're going to use our map back to Ostgaroth and head back in there. I just don't feel like we're running. It's not that far, but might as well just map in. And we can hand in these quests to Tortwill and Stanrick. Just boarding in there. Here we are. Okay. Do you have any quests for us? Yes, an offering of peace. This is the one I was waiting for. Might I take so a an offering of peace? We have to collect warg and boar uh, loot, and we're going to take them to uh, the what are they called? Their name is. Uh, 
great lumbering beasts. Ah, what's their Greetings. name? The the Yurfkin, that's right. The Yurfkin. Would you They're do something tall. for me? <laughs> All right, so we're also getting the next bundle of Greetings. quests. But as I said, we're going to do the skirmish before we head into this next quest group. We've got ourselves to level 26, and we're going to hand in these what quests to finish off the episode for today. All right. Uh, what have we got here? Nothing very good. Okay, this is a next a next level up of these boxes, so we might as well have a look. That's better, so that's good. We can use them if we need. They're better as well. Okay, so if we see any of these boxes, we know that we'll get some better gear. Let's start with the helmet. Just chuck that on. It's a bit better. Small increase. But worth getting those small increases. How can else. I be of service? Presents itself. We've got our reputation there increasing. And there we go. I think there's some more quests to pick up around here. But as I pick these up, guys, that is going to be all for today. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah, we've got three more quests Can here speak to pick with up. You a moment? Let's pick these up quickly. Might I take a moment so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Speak with you a uh, and yeah, I'm glad you took the time out of your day to watch this episode. If you did like it, uh, please make sure you leave a like. Uh, it really helps out the channel. And if you have any suggestions about what you want to do, uh, what you want me to do rather in this uh, series or what or suggestions for games that you'd like to see played on this channel uh, leave them down in the description in the comment section i'm saying description when i mean comments in the comment section down below that'd be great if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and as always guys it's been a pleasure playing with you uh, my name is now clear and i will see you tomorrow